Hello everyone. Welcome back to the next session. Let's implement this business rule. For a specific CR time at requester level, the client wanted to make the notes or attachments. Either of them are mandatory at the CR header level. Let me show you in the system. We take any master data, material or business partner or finance. Here we have the change request header. So this is not uh, specific to any entity or any master data, nothing. SAP had just linked this change request UABB to the MM application. So it's a reuse UABB. Even in, for our custom application also, we had linked the change request UABB. Same way it, uh, it was done for material BP and finance. Usually only the CR description is mandatory at header level. The other fields are not mandatory. So client requirement was for a specific CR time only for the requester level. Here you do have the notes and attachments, right? So the requester has to maintain either notes or attachments. The business reason was to justify why the current master data is being created. The requirement was only for the create scenario, but in real time, Maybe in your project, it might change to another case also. Here, if you see simply, we are creating a material. If it goes to the next level or down the line, maybe after two months uh, or after three months, if business would like to review all the change requests or all the master data created, they need to know the business case, why this material was created, what was the uh, reason and for which plants this material was being used for and who had initiated that. So that kind of justification client wanted to maintain at CR header level only. So here there's a reason either we can manually enter the notes by giving the required information or if you have any evidences or any emails or documentation, we can attach that in the form of either file or sometimes we do have that files uh, uploaded into the SharePoint. So if you have that kind of provision, you can attach the SharePoint link also. Both are considered as attachments only. So these are the allowed port protocols. Mostly it would be HTTPS only, no need to worry. So that was the business case. Why? the notes or attachments was mandatory. So both are not mandatory in our case, but whatever business logic we are going to implement, you can adjust that as per the client requirements. If either of them are not provided, then we need to throw an error saying that CR header notes or attachments is mandatory. That validation should be only for the requester level. That's it. ZM81 M24. Now let me update the requirement. So while creating a material using CR type ZM81 M24, either notes or attachments is mandatory at CR header level per requester. So you will get the business requirement likewise, but they won't give you the CR type. They may ask you like only during this particular process, we need to maintain this mandatory. And for that process, we must have created one CR type and we need to keep a condition on that. So this is the requirement. Now here, the basic things you need to know is what is the change request type? 
ZM81 M24. Step number. It is a request step, right? So always it is 00. zero. And for which data model you are applying this business rule, EMM. And what is the error message to be displayed? Let's say I want, dis I want to display CR header or change request header, either notes or attachments is mandatory. That's a simple message. So you once you have this information, then we need to start the build in the system. And the type of business rule, this is for our reference purpose, validation. This is a validation rule category. So it's not specific to any entity. It's not a single entity or cross entity. So it's a generic validation for the CR header. This is our requirement and let's start building that in the system. 